Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how I DTG on hoodies. Specifically for this one, I'm gonna go over the hoodie pocket. So stay tuned to find out how I do that. All right, so I have everything turned on here. I've got my DTG machine here. This is the Epson F2100. Behind me on this side, I have my heat press turned on and set. Right now for this project, I have it turned on for 320 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna be pressing at different times and different temperatures, so I'll explain those as we go. And in this corner here, I have my pre-treat machine. Because it is a hoodie, it's a thicker garment, I'm not gonna throw it in my pre-treat wash that I've put on other videos. I'm gonna run it through here. We're gonna cover it with a good solid layer of pre-treat. That way when we print on it, we get good bright colors as well. For the hoodie, I'm using an independent trading company hoodie. This is 80% cotton, 20% polyester, and I'll leave all that information down below. Other than that, I'm gonna take you guys step by step, so I'm gonna get you guys put up on the tripod and then show you my first couple steps. All right guys, so I got my hoodie here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with a lint roller and then we're gonna heat press it. The heat press is to get rid of any excess moisture and also to keep the fibers flat. So when we're working through all these different steps, we know we have a flat printing surface. By the time we get to the printer, we're good to go. All right guys, so I got the garment threaded onto the heat press. Like I said, we have the temperature at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna hit it for about 10 seconds to get rid of any excess moisture. As well as for the pressure, I'm gonna hit it really hard. And that way I can flatten down the fibers. So when we take it over the pre-treat machine, we know we have a good working surface to work on. All right, so we are good to go here. You might see a little bit of extra moisture here. That's the whole point of pressing it to get it out of the fibers. So if it's on here, it's fine. Next, we are gonna take this, try not to rough it up too much. We are gonna take it over to the pretreatment machine. All right guys, so I'm bringing you guys here to the pretreatment machine. I've already got my hoodie on the platen. As for the settings, I'm aiming for almost about 60 milliliters or 60 grams of pretreat. Here we are looking at 60 and we are doing a round trip. So if we go to the round trip and 60, we can see it's about 57 milliliters. So around there seems to work best for me. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, get the pretreatment on there, and then show you the next steps here. thinking this looks pretty good. We got a nice coverage of pretreatment. Again, I'm doing it over the pocket hoodie. If you're doing a regular print, I'd probably bring it up a little bit more. With that being said, I've covered the area that I plan on printing on. So I'm gonna run this back to the heat press, get it cured, get the pretreatment dried and everything set. And then we can take it over and finally print. So again, we have it threaded back onto the heat press. The temperature is still at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. You can let this sit for a little bit. One thing I'm going to show you that I like to do, because the pretreatment is on top of the hoodie still and it's not fully submersed in, I like to take a paint roller or you could use a paintbrush as well to kind of press this in, to press this into the fibers a little bit better, make sure the pretreat is fully absorbed. I typically like to just go one direction so I'm not messing up the fibers too much. All right, so now that the pretreatment is on the hoodie, I've got the hoodie back onto the plant for the heat press. The settings are the same, 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pressure is still about eight or nine. Before I press it, I'm gonna actually add a piece of parchment paper, like so. And for my pressing process, I typically just press it for about 10 seconds, pop open the heat press, press it for 10 seconds, and in between each time opening it, I flip the parchment paper, that gives me the best results that I've found. But again, test to see what works for you. So I'm gonna get this done, dry up all the pre-treat, then we'll take it over to the printer and I'll show you the process there. One thing I'm gonna note, you might be able to see it here is, it might be hard to see, but you will be getting steam coming off the garment. That is okay, that's normal. Obviously it's just the moisture that is in the pre-treat being evaporated. So that's not a big deal, don't worry too much about it. But like I said, essentially I am doing this process here until the pretreatment is fully dried. So I'm gonna get you guys back up on a high angle and probably just time lapse this. All 
Cool, cool. And like that, we are good to go. The pre-treatment there is dry to the touch. There's a little bit of extra moisture here, but that's kind of outside the print area. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna take you guys to the printer, leave this here for now. All right guys, so we're at the machine here and I'm getting ready to print, but I wanted to mention a couple things. There are a couple tricks when printing hoodies. You can just lower the platen. Alternatively though, what most people recommend is if you do have an uneven surface, you want to get something like a mouse pad or this tuck lock platen system actually has these acrylic risers, which you can stick on here and that will actually raise the top of the hoodie so it's a little bit higher than the pocket. That way when it goes to print, you still get a nice crisp image along the whole length of the hoodie. So I'm gonna get the hoodie mounted up. I do have a piece of blue painter's tape here that is to prevent any excess paint that or excess ink that doesn't get put on the hoodie. Since I am doing a bottom print, any excess ink that doesn't get onto the hoodie gets on the platen. It's just gonna save me some cleanup time later. So I'm gonna get this all set up, bring you guys with me, and you guys can watch the whole process. All right, so I have the hoodie set up. It's pretty smooth, pretty flat because of how we pressed it earlier. Again, if you are having a lot of height difference, I'd recommend sticking something underneath here, this portion, to bring it up a little bit. But with that being said, I'm gonna check the height by sending it in to see if it's good. If it doesn't beep at me, what I'm going to do is increase the height of the platen until it beeps at me. And then that way I know that's where the sensor is. I can bump it back down one to make sure we're safe to print. All right. I'm gonna stop that, but we got the beeping here, so I know it's too high. I'm gonna bump it down one, see if one is good. If not, I'll bump it down two, because I've been going in increments of two. So let's see, hopefully that's good. All right, so that's not good. I'm gonna bump it down one more, and then that should be good. Awesome, and we're set. We're gonna bring this back out, because we need to to start the print, but I've already put the print in there. The only thing I'm doing special about this I prefer doing a double white base. That gives it a nice, solid, opaque base. And in between those, I do a lot of dry time to make sure we have a good coverage, good dry time, and then we got a good color on top. So, sitting that in, let's see how this looks. All right, so we are done and look how bright and vibrant this print is. I'm extremely happy with that. And see, this is what I'm talking about. It was off the bottom of the print. So I knew ink was gonna pile up. It's running right here. So if I didn't have that, it's just plexiglass. I know it might actually come off of there. So, but look at that. Look how bright this is. I'm super, super happy with how this came out. Although this process does take a little bit longer with a double white and then putting all the pauses in between, you get this really good color. I'm really happy with that. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit. That's another one of the things that I like to do with these garments to get a very, very bright print. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe like a minute or so, and then I'm gonna run it back over to heat press, hover it for a bit, press it, and then press it again. 
So we're gonna do the same exact temperature, very, very, very light pressure when we are pressing it. So after I let it sit, I'm gonna bring you guys back and then we'll run this over to the heat press and then take care of that. All right guys, so we are back at the heat press for the last time. What we're gonna do here, like I said, I'm gonna bring the hoodie threaded on, let it hover for about 30 seconds to dry to the touch. Then we're gonna put a piece of parchment paper on it and a very, very light pressure, we're gonna hit it at, again, still 320 degrees for about 60 to 90 seconds. Once that's done, I'm gonna flip the parchment paper over and then hit it again one last time. And by then it should be good to go. So let me go get the hoodie and get it on. All right guys, so here is the final product of the hoodie. Everything's completely dry. This is ready to go get washed. There is still obviously a bit of texture from the pre-treat, but once it's washed, it'll feel just as soft. So here's the final shot of the hoodie. I'm extremely happy with how these results came out, with how bright the colors are. Again, we did it over the hoodie pocket, so it adds some dimension to the print. Over here, you can't really see, but anywhere there's a flap. You can kind of see the difference here, so. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys learned something useful and it wasn't too complicated. If you do have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to kind of help you guys out or answer anything as best I can. So again, here's the final result of the hoodie. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Otherwise, take care. Bye-bye.